everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a lattice fold edge along with in full bloom stamps. This is the stamp set and I'm only going to use the stamps, not the thin cuts. My sentiment is from For All Occasions. I'm using some watercolor paper, wisteria cardstock, and gold foil paper. So to do this technique, you should choose a patterned paper that you like the pattern on both sides and um, small tight images on the design of the paper works the best. Okay, so I'm cutting this down to five and a half by eight and a half. And this is going to be my card. It's an A2 card size. So I'm trimming this down and then I'm going to score it in the middle at four and a quarter. Okay, so then I'll burnish it with my bone folder. Now I'm going to create a stencil. So you'll need some grid paper that's split up into quarter inch squares. And I'm going to work with this um, half inch section at the bottom here. Okay, so I'm taking my uh, straight edge and I'm setting it at an angle between the uh, first tick mark and then it's half an inch up and half an inch over. So I'm creating a diagonal line there. I'll have a close-up shot in a minute. And then the next line is going to be a quarter inch long and then I'll go a half inch long. Okay, so it's on the diagonal. This is the half inch, and then I'll scooch it over a quarter inch to that next box, and then I'm just going to make a diagonal that's a quarter inch long, okay? So you're going to continue doing those tick marks at uh, long and then short all the way down until you reach five and a half inches, okay? So we're just working with this half inch section and making our half inch and quarter inch long diagonal lines. So we're just creating a stencil on this uh, grid paper. And it's a one-off stencil. So once you use it, you won't be able to use it again, but it's pretty easy to make. Then I'm just trimming it out to a more uh, usable size. And I'm trimming right along that edge where my tick marks were, okay? So this is repositionable uh, tape runner, and I'm just going to set this down on my card front, and I'm putting that first diagonal line just a smidge lower than the top of the card, okay? And it's right there on the edge, right up against the edge, and then I'm just going to cut along those lines. So you're going to cut a long cut, short cut, long cut, short cut, and just go all the way down the edge of your card long cut, short cut, and just keep going until you get almost to the bottom. Okay. And then remove your stencil. And then you can open your card up. So you've got these chevron shapes that you've cut. And just take one point and fold it down. So I'm going to slow this down. You want to make sure that the fold is even with the folded edge of your card so it's straight, okay? And then you skip one and then fold the next triangle down. Okay, and then skip one, fold the next one down. Skip one, fold the next one down. All the way down the edge of your card. And make sure that those folded edges line up. So skip one, fold one, skip one, fold one, skip one, fold one, all the way to the bottom. Okay, then you go back and you take those points and you tuck them under. So take the point and tuck it under and just tuck all the way back up to the top. Okay, and then you can fold your card again and then burnish it carefully with your bone folder. Now that top one that's kind of just hanging there, some people like to trim off the bottom triangle and then glue it to the top, but I think this is fine. It's really up to you if you want to do that or not. 
Okay, now we can start building our card front or creating our card front. And I've got some watercolor paper here. And then I've mounted all of my stamps onto blocks. And this is um, masking paper. So I'm going to create three masks of the larger images. So I'm just going to stamp out these floral images in black ink. And then I'm going to fussy cut them rather than using the dies because um, when I use a masking technique, I like to get my cut edge right up to that stamped line. Okay, so now I have all of my masks cut out. And now I'm going to trim down my watercolor paper so that it will fit on the front of my card. So starting with three and a half by four, and then trim that down a little bit more to three and a quarter because I want to mount my stamped piece on some gold foil over the border. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to lay my masks out on the front of this watercolor paper to just kind of get an idea of what my what I want my design to look like. Now make sure you use the intense black ink because it's waterproof and it won't bleed when you use watercolors with it. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the large flower out and then place my mask over it. And then I'm figuring out the positioning of my next floral image. And then you can stamp it on top of that mask and it will look like it, the flowers are behind that large flower. Okay, and then I'll stamp my leaves out, placing my mask on that other floral image and then I'm stamping my leaves. So then they will look like they are behind the flowers. And then I'll place my mask on top of that. And then the last flower, I'll stamp that. Okay, so now I have my floral design. And I'm gonna bring my watercolors in. So I'm leaving the masks on my card front so that I can create kind of a watercolor wash behind the floral images. And I don't want this blue to be on any of the flowers. So I'm just creating my wash and then I'll peel off the mask. And then I can watercolor all of my flowers. So I'll skip ahead in just a second. So these are kind of iridescent and uh, pearlescent watercolors. And now I've got some color laid down. I'm by no means <laughs> an expert at watercoloring. In fact, I'm quite a beginner, but you can only learn by doing it, right? And so I gave it a go there. So now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. It says just because, and I'm stamping in black on the light side of wisteria. And then I'm going to stamp this butterfly in grape ink on my watercolored panel here. Okay. Now we can build our card and I'll take you through this pretty quickly. So I'm going to cut out my sentiment and I'm just going to create a little banner. So I'm just trimming around the words and then I'll dovetail one end. So just snip vertically in the center and then take each of those corners to meet that snip and you've got your triangle shape cut out. And then I'm going to bring in a close my heart journaling pen and just um, doodle some lines around the edges of this uh, little banner. Just to give it a little more emphasis. And then I'll bring in some gold foil, create my mat for my watercolored piece. And then I'll bring in my card. So I'm just going to tack down my watercolor piece with Tombow on the gold foil, and then I'll pop the whole panel with some craft foam. Pretty simple. And that lattice fold just gives it a nice touch. 
And I'll add my sentiment with some Tombow and then I'll scatter some crystals and gems around my card front. And there's my finished card. Lots of fun. And here's some close up shots. So these supplies are available in my online store. I'll make a list with links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you'll be able to find all of my videos. I have quite a few in the library there. So thanks for watching.